Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. And so I just did two long videos on the um, the very interesting time travel movie Dimensions available on, among other places on Amazon.com. And I forgot to mention the main thing <laughs> that I had in mind. And so here goes. In this movie, uh, Dimensions, uh, the teacher, the professor at the very beginning of the story, he has the three children do this um, this exercise where they put on like cardboard masks with little slits in them for the eyes and has them walk straight forward and say what they see. Like they're in a garden, right? Kind of on a lawn. And all they see is just little green and like that. They see just in one direction is they're just walking in one direction. And the professor describes this as the first dimension. You can only see in a straight line one thing. Then uh, he, he, he turns them around like they do a pirouette, and he says, what do you see? And they say lots of different things. They see all different kinds of colors from, from being able to experience both length and breadth, right? X and Y axis, right? And so that's the second dimension he explains. So then he takes the mask off of them and he says, now what do you see? And they all start dancing together. And they say, we see everything, right? But they don't. What they see is the third dimension. Length, things have length, breadth, and height. So they appear to be solid, right? They appear to be um physical reality appears, right? And it's this dimension that we take for true right now in physical form. Okay. This third dimension is as lacking in information as the first dimension from the perspective of the higher dimensions. So it, you could imagine that you have on right now the same mask that is shown in that movie with the tiny little eye slits where you can see just a little green, the trees, you know, there. You don't know that they're trees. You just see the green, right? That's what we're seeing right now. It seems so to those who of our Ascension team who are observing us from the higher dimensions. Right. So we're caught here now in an untrue notion of physicality, which seems true to us because our soul instruments, the instruments of our soul that we know how to use right now, reveal only that physicality. Our celestial team, ascension team, which exists in various di higher dimensions, so as to step down uh, our understanding of the user manual of our soul to us here in physical form, right? Our celestial ascension team knows about all of the other instruments in the panel of our soul field. If we ask, we shall receive. If we ask for help, we will receive it. We will get just the right information. But it takes imagination to know what questions to ask. We have to align with the divine will and heart and mind in order to even come up with the questions to ask our ascension team. 